What up? It's your man, Jay White, first name, last name. You see the title and you clicked on it. What in the world are you doing using FPDS? This is what it stands for. Look at the bottom. FPDS. <laughs> Now, you're seeing all kind of cornballs and clowns talk about how to utilize this to get leverage in your proposal. That is not the way to go. FPDS is the world's most unorganized platform for contracts that have already been awarded. You know what the saying is? Yesterday's price is not what? Today's price. So why would you utilize something in the past uh, via a website to help you create a current proposal for work that you want to do today. It makes no sense. Secondly, most people say you get a list of uh, proposals or contracts that are, are, have already been won, and then you can formulate a list to attack people or reach out to people. Well, number one, the way I teach federal government contracting is, we the primes, yo. We the it. We the boss of the boss. So I'm not looking to reach out to anybody that's won an award and say, hey, can you get, do you need some help? Can you, uh, I can do some of this job for you. Nah, we want people to do that to us. We want people to reach out to us. The third thing that I don't understand why people teach to use FPDS is they will say, hey, you can look at a list on FPDS and see who doesn't have competition. That gotta be the dumbest thing to waste time on. If you're looking at an industry or a particular company that they've been winning contracts year after year after year in that same industry, why would you think that the government is going to pay attention to your particular proposal and one company has been winning contracts for years? Now, say it to yourself, man, yeah, Jay, you're right. That makes a lot of sense. I know. So stop listening to these clowns that talk about using FPDS as a leveraging tool for you to win a contract. It don't make sense and you're wasting your time. I'm going to see you on the next video.